Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you how you can prepare for the interview of a teacher. What to prepare, how to prepare and how can you get selected in it. And which will be the best topic for demonstration. And which type of questions can be asked in a interview that I will be telling you in this video. So first of all, let me tell you that if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos. The first thing, whenever you go for an interview, it is that you have to give your introduction. While giving your introduction, keep it in mind that always tell my name is, instead of using myself, you have to use my name because myself is grammatically wrong. So, you will be using my name because as a teacher, you should know which words are the correct one to use. My name is Riya Sharma. My qualification is MAB8. I am working as an assistant teacher. Okay, as an assistant teacher, it should be. I have not written here. So, as an assistant teacher in Santaji Public School from 2017 to 21. I have 8 years of experience in teaching. As a teacher, it's my responsibility to mold my students for the future of the country. So, this is the introduction you can give. You can add if you are having some special skills or if you want to add your hobbies or the special skills easily, you can add after this. Okay. So, after that, what you have to do is most likely questions to be asked. See, after giving your introduction, the panel or they will be asking you the questions so first of all in which school are you working recently in which school you are working that you should tell from when you are working that you have to tell what's the reason of leaving the job if you have already left the job you have to tell that why you have left the job from there and the reason whatever reason you are telling them should be clear Okay, reason should be very much, ma reason should be made very much clear why you have left the job. Next is the expected salary. Okay, expected salary mostly while filling a form, they will be asking you your recent salary, what was your salary and expected salary. So here, just what expected salary you will be telling it should not be more than and means not uh, for example if i'm telling you recently you are working as a 15000 in 15000 years salaries and you will directly ask for 30 or 25000 it is not at all possible so while mentioning if it is given already that uh, in the if it is already given that uh, they will be giving you a particular salary so no need of mentioning so but if expected salary is asked so it should not be more uh, not much more or we can say it should not uh, be as i told you that if one uh, if you are getting 15000 salary and directly you will be asking for 25000 okay next is the other subject you can teach okay as a teacher you should you should know how to explain each and everything as uh, the most important thing is in B8, while, while doing B8, there are two subject, two teaching methods we have to take. So, definitely one will be the whatever, whichever post you are applying and whichever sub, for whichever subject teacher you are applying. That will be the one. And the other one is in the method you have used or you have done in the e B8 that you have to tell. So, this already keep it in mind whenever you are preparing for a teacher's interview. One topic from the a post of teacher for which you have applied that you have to prepare and one the other one the other subject you can teach for that from that also you should prepare one topic. Next is the biggest achievement of your life. You have to tell that biggest achievement of your life. Okay, they must be asked, asking or must be not but you have to keep in mind uh, as biggest achievement will be um, very much clear to, about, uh, clear to us that we can easily tell it. We don't have to remember it. But keep it in mind whatever is your biggest achievement. As well as your biggest achievement as a teacher. 
as a teacher we are what is your biggest achievement till now again one question is that which in b8 as we are doing case study e on which particular what was the e problem that student was having and which on which you have done the case study that also can be asked so be clear about that question that on in case study which method or we can say uh, what was the problem that student was having and on that you have to you have done case study that you have to tell maybe it may be asked that's why next is tips to choose topics for demonstration which topic should be um choosed for the demonstration first of all whenever you are preparing for any topic it should be clear that whatever concept is there it should be very much clear to you next is you should have the knowledge of certain things related to the topic for example if you are uh, teaching about earth okay teaching about earth you should know about certain uh, certain planets sequence of planets so this all things you should know means whenever it is uh, whatever topic you are taking the concept should be very clear as well as the related knowledge to that topic should be clear to you because the panel can ask anything related to it whenever you are preparing for any topic uh, keep it in mind that what you have to do and relates uh, there are certain things related to that topic you have to do it you have to prepare for that always choose the topic which you can explain well there are certain topics which we cannot explain and as per uh, our thinking what happens that we feel that this topic must be the best one but sometimes what it ha what happens that while explaining that topic uh, there uh, there will be some problem we could not explain it properly so while choosing make it very clear that you can explain that topic very well next is the difficulty level of the topic should be medium see whenever you are choosing any topic keep it in mind that don't choose the most difficult topic don't choose the most difficult topic choose the topic of a medium difficulty means you can say that anybody could understand not very much easy and not very much hard it should be of a medium level so that each and everybody should understand okay next things to remember while giving demonstration while giving a demo it it is very much important that what all things you have to remember so greet the students okay greet the students if students are there even though uh, some teachers are sitting and you have to directly take the cl their class so first of all as a students they will be sitting in your class so greet them first whatever it is good morning good evening whatever it uh, good afternoon whatever it is write the date on the blackboard or on the whiteboard uh, it is very compulsory because while uh, when you are giving demonstration these things are noted down that whether you have written a date whether you have written a subject or topic or not written so directly there are many people what they do directly subject name of the topic they are writing but first of all write the date okay and afterwards subject and topic okay next you should use the board white board or or black board whatever it is so whenever you are giving demonstration for example you are reading and explaining any lessons mention that that you can just you can tell the students to underline the hard words and write that words on the board okay next is if you are explaining uh, maths that is okay directly you have to explain on the board but if it is a english subject if you are explaining any lesson so just underline that words and uh you can write and give that words on the blackboard and write the meaning of it means the use of blackboard will be there means here also you can get the points or get the marks tell the importance of that particular topic day sorry so uh, see as a teacher we should know these are very common things that uh, teachers should tell uh, the students so for example if it is any day uh, for example uh women's day 8th march okay international women's day next is 24th uh, jan 24th january it was uh, national girl child day okay means whatever the date is just uh, before starting the topic okay 
before starting the topic you have to tell the importance of that particular day after writing uh, after writing uh, date subject and topic while you start before that tell the importance of that day today's date is so and so and what is the importance of today's date and history or uh, some uh, national day is there or some uh, thing is going to be celebrated on that day that you have to tell start after that start explaining the topic and after that only you should explain the topic so you can score very easily good marks than others as compared to other, compared to others you will be getting good marks for all these things and you can get easily selected next is after completing our students whether they have any doubts see whenever you are whenever you are explaining any topic it should be very clear that you should ask students whether they are having any doubt if they are having any doubt so what you have to do you have to explain the topic and clear the doubts next is give them homework giving homework is one of the most important plan uh, part okay and afterwards you can say thank you and your demonstration or your lesson plan or you can say your demonstration will be the good enough so this are the things you have to follow while giving the interview of a teacher so if you like the video like share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you